In this video, we're going to be talking about waxy products that people put down. We're taping off a few areas here. The waxy acrylic products will leave a shine. And of course, with the windows open and all the lights on from eye level up here, it doesn't look too bad. Camera always does that. But when you actually get down and look at the floors, they're very, very bad. There's buildup. There's a lot of micro scratches and scratches in the wax itself, not in the original floors. And these are, these are solid wood floors. You see all that scratching going on. All the little micro scratches in there as well. And there's a lot of dark patches. What will happen with these acrylic uh, products, which I'll show you what the client was using. The, it's like a wax. You can see how thick it is here. And as you get layer after layer on the on your wood floors, they can actually warm up in the summer or when the heat's on and get kind of pliable and all the dust will land on it and you'll just traffic it in there. And so now you got this dirty wax on your floors. You can see it here. And these are beautiful floors. We need to bring, bring them back to the original um, state. And I don't think we're going to need to apply a protective coating or a, a sand and recoat. Not a sand and recoat, but a. I was pointing out there was some color loss there from a plant. But uh, a screen and recoat could be done. We protect the hutch. She didn't want to move that. So that's the only thing we're working around. But you could see here's a here's a good image of the all the buildup, the thickness. And this stuff's hard to get off. The client tried to get it off and couldn't get it off. Here they had a mat on this side and then on the other side, they kept mopping the product on it. You can almost see the thick line going down the center. You see the difference? People like that glossy, shiny look, but that's kind of not what these floors are all about. There's the mat that goes down. You can get, you know, a polyurethane put down if you do a screen and recoat on this one because I think it's still in good enough condition where it doesn't need to be sanded. But here's the culprit. Orange glow. This is what she showed me. Now I did open the cabinet under the sink looking for a garbage can. There was about three or four bottles of mop and glow as well. So stuff's pretty bad. I told her throw this stuff away. They don't, <clears throat> pardon me, excuse me. I don't know if it has what's in it, the ingredients on here, but we're going to get it off of the floors by using ProCare Premium Floor Polish and Wax Remover. This is a Pro, or a, basic coatings product and I've got a a sponge style squeegee so I can get in the edges and pull this wax out on a few wax removal jobs I used the shop vac going into the corners and it didn't do as good a job as using a squeegee and we'll get a slurry going, we'll get a pile, and we'll shop back it all up. And I also used a brush on the bottom of a rotary machine. That just kind of flung, not on this job, but other jobs, that flung everything up onto the quarter rounds and 
it was it was a mess. So I also have a a SIBO Duo, which is similar to a CRB. I've done a job using that, and it just clogged it all up and was a mess to clean up. So if you've been watching my videos here or on my Washington Pro Carpet Cleaning YouTube channel, you know that if there's a simple way to do it, I'm going to find it. You can see this is just kind of some of the slurry. <laughs> there's a lot of it there. Not only the wax buildup, but there's also dirt. You can see here, you put that stuff down. We mixed it for heavy, heavy uh, wax. And then we sponge mop it on and I wait eight minutes, let it emulsify and that's what it does. You see it just breaking it down like gum. That area up there has been wet or mopped, wet mopped. So we squeegeed it, wet mopped it up to get, you know, the product off of the floors. And then here we'll be scrubbing it up and then squeegeeing it and then mopping it. You can see over here, this is where we mix the product using a general Lieberman sponge mop to apply the solution. I've, I've used a pump up sprayer and just getting it on with a mop is the best way. There's a flat mop there for wet mopping and dry mopping. You got your squeegee and then just a medium bristle brush, but you can see, look at that thing. After eight minutes, you take the brush, you agitate, He's applying the solution. This is how we do it. Put it on there pretty liberally. Then you, I think the instructions say five to eight minutes, but when it's heavy like this, eight minutes is fine. And you're not pushing or scrubbing the floor with this stuff. You see he's using one hand. That's because he just wants to keep the mop head uh, wet with the solution and then just spread it evenly onto the floor. We did test an area. You always want to test an area before you begin putting this stuff all over someone's floors. We tested a small area and waited the full eight minutes, to use the same brush, use the squeegee, wet mop, flat mop, and dry mop came out beautiful. So we proceeded here. You do want to be careful. You don't slip and fall. I got a tarp to put on the carpet going down into the basement so that we don't slosh any of this off the ledge down onto the carpet. And then we got more work to do if we do that and also tape off so we don't get any on the tile. And this is a dining room or a kitchen, dining room, family room, and this little uh, hallway. You can see we got down some protective uh, floor mats there or some pads. Keep all of our tools that have the solution on it, the bucket. You can see there the bucket, the hose. You don't want to set that onto like tile or set it onto the wood floor and leave it for any length of time because it's got the uh, the emulsifier on it. And if you do that, when you're done, you'll have a beautiful floor. Then you'll stand back when you pack all your tools up and you will have problem areas all over the tile. Same as if you left them on a wood area for too long. And we'll wipe that up, that little over, over the tape edge there. You can see all that buildup. He's working it real good, and I'm squeegeeing it here with one hand. And you can see, there. I mean, there's all kinds of expensive equipment you can use. 
if you want to. Stuff with brushes, stuff that sucks it up while it's brushing. But again, I don't know how close to the edges that would get. You know, this process seems to, so far, you know, I, I haven't done a whole bunch of these, but the ones that I've done, I've tried several different methods. And I'm just sharing this with you guys. I thought I would put a video together to show you how easy it is. The product is not that expensive. You can get that from basic coatings. I think they might even have it on Amazon. And then here's the red pad. That's the maroon or red pad, I call it, synthetic scrubbing pad. And at this point, what we're doing, we got all the slurry out. We wet mopped it, dry mopped it with the flat mop so that now we're at a neutral state. The floors have no wax buildup on them. So we're doing a basic uh, clean and buff shine. You'll see that. We will go over all the edges with microfiber pad and also over the center just to dry it out a little more. We sprayed a neutral pH cleaner. <clears throat> I highly recommend uh, squeaky clean. Excuse me, frog in my throat. Squeaky clean. A cleaner. That's what we did here. Spray it down. And then go over it with the red pad. Here's the polish and wax remover one more time. Obviously the junk that caused the problem. If you don't know how to use this stuff properly, you don't put it on and cake it on and cake it on. This is the white microfiber polar pad. So after we spray it lightly with squeaky clean and we go over it to deep clean it with the red pad, I'll flat mop it to get some of the moisture up and then mist a little more and he'll go back over it with the microfiber pad, basically mopping up any dirt. And then your final approach, at least the final approach I do, I always use the white synthetic 3M pad to uh, buff shine it or polish it. There's no polish going on. The floor is in a natural state. But this on a 175 is going to spin at 175 RPMs, or I think it's 165 RPMs per minute. But it heats up the existing poly a little bit and look at that fabulous shine. Now that's a natural shine without the orange glow. That's just showing that they do still have some original polyurethane on there. I would say maybe in a year or two, they're gonna want us to screen and recode it. But at this point, you could see right where I stopped, see the dullness from the lights and the bright, bright shine, how it's popping over there. If you just go over it with a white pad, you're going to get a, it's going to clean it up, but it's going to look dull like this. So here, we got to go through, do this one. We're going to let this dry. There's the white pad, 3M synthetic, and I'll show you some after pictures. Hope this was helpful to somebody. Look how beautiful it came out. All that wax and garbage is removed. Or if you're watching and you have that problem, give us a call. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.